Hey, up. they asked for it. Yeah. And they got what they asked for. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but he said it. This shit ain't done. No. Uh, we come back next uh, week ready to uh, go. And turn it up or not. Chiefs on three, one, two, three. Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs back in the AFC Championship game for the sixth straight time. Being in the AFC Championship game, I mean, that's what you try to do every single season. Our goal is to get to the Super Bowl, and that's going to take everything we have this next week. So this is a great Ravens team that we're going up against. They head to Baltimore to see if they can come up with a way to keep John Harbaugh from breaking out another rendition of the Senior Citizen Humpty Dance. Chiefs have won four straight. Hey, listen, no dancing today, right? We, we listen, no dancing today. We got, we got more to do. Looked better last week offensively than they have all year. Patrick Mahomes maybe comes in off his best outing of the year. It's always fun when you get to come together as a team and really just be like y'all versus, versus everybody and, and get the win. He put up his highest rate at least, over 130. Went 17 for 23, over nine yards per attempt, two touchdowns, no picks. Watch him fake this right here, like, I'm gonna throw it over you. <laughs> and it gets Douglas to leave his feet. Mahomes has been doing this for years. Baltimore at Super Bowl's door for the first time since 2012. They've now won 10 of their last 11 games with Lamar Jackson starting. It was rusty. You know, it was windy. It was cold as heck out there. Jackson keeps Stanley in front of him. Touchdown, Lamar! We came out second half and we did what we were supposed to do. Put points on the board. And after last week, Baltimore with a minimum of 31 points in each of their last seven home games with Jackson at QB. I, I thought Lamar was going to play great, but he's played great all year. You know, and, uh, and just now, it's, it's more important than ever. Uh, he's been locked in from day one. Uh, that's his turn. And, uh, and we've all kind of ran with that. Lamar's in! We're going to have a championship game in Baltimore because the haze the Lamar! This is the fourth installment of Lamar Mahomes. Mahomes has a 3-1 edge. Ah! Let's go! Mahomes is 3-2 and two in conference championship games, hasn't ever played one on the road, but he won away from Arrowhead last week, so the whole hasn't ever had to win a playoff game on the road thing is no more. When you're on the road, it's, it's, it's you versus them. It's you versus everybody in the stadium. You have to come together as a team, and the guys do that. This is Lamar's first conference championship game. Well, much has been said about you having one playoff win. Have you heard that? Did it motivate you? you know, I heard that. What's that? You know I heard that. Jackson plus elite rush offense plus elite defense plus home field advantage. That's what Casey is up against. Baltimore's win over Houston in the divisional round was more or less what 2023 Ravens football is all about. Quarterback draw off the middle. He's to the 10. Five. Touchdown Ravens. Lamar. Jackson. Jackson's dual threat abilities were front and center in the division round win. His legs, though, are what make him special, and they propelled Baltimore into the conference championship game, 100 yards rushing, 9.1 a carry, two scores. Jackson has to go. And boy, when he goes, he goes right up the middle of the field. Kansas City just finished playing Josh Allen, gave up 72 yards rushing to him, six a run, two TDs. The beast is on the loose again. Another first down for Buffalo. Jackson is just a third or maybe a fourth of Baltimore's rush attack. Kansas City's defense should expect plenty of Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, maybe some Dalvin Cook. Hill last week, 66 yards, 5.1 a run. Justice had a great game. On second and nine, Hill, first down plus. I told Justice, I said, man, you're really, really talented, but your heart's even bigger. Hill hit at over five a carry this year in limited duty. Edwards versus the Texans, 40 yards, four a carry. Gus with 800 plus yards for the year, 13 paint jobs. First and goal, Edwards into the end zone. Touchdown, Ravens. Cook chipped in 23 yards in his first action for Baltimore. All that versus the number one rush defense versus running backs, too. Chiefs didn't play backs nearly as well as Houston, but they did keep James Cook in check. He went for 4.7 in 2023. They kept him to 3.4 a carry. Linebacker Nick Bolton had a whopping 13 tackles. Ran right into Bolton. Drives him back after one. Chiefs secondary also up against it. Jackson's most recent MVP outing came complete with nice passing stats. Repeating myself, Baltimore's offense, a run dominant outfit. They sported a 130 run pass split for the year, but when they throw, it's produced nice results. All day. Bateman. Nice diving catch. Lamar went 16 for 22 last week, 152 yards, two TDs, no picks, a rating over 120. It takes a team to win an MVP award. All right, but I know who the MVP is. It's Lamar Jackson. Yeah.
Should be noted too, Houston, a team that doesn't blitz a lot, sent the house after Lamar all game long. 75% of his dropbacks, that's an absurd rate. He faced pressure 43% of his dropbacks, that's a lot, and none of it mattered. I mean, they have 10 guys within five yards. Blitz pressure coming, pass completed. Isaiah likely pulls his way down to the 27-yard line. Once Lamar was able to sit back there, just kind of just kind of pick him apart, get the ball out quick. Uh, he just did a great job with that and that took control of the game. No Ravens pass catcher had even 50 yards versus Houston. Wasn't required. Zay Flowers led them in targets. He was their leader on that front all year. Four catches, 41 yards versus Houston. Petrie coming on a blitz again. Jackson steps up. Zay Flowers with a catch and a first down. Flowers has been the most consistent Lamar target this season. He's a slot guy, so he will go mano a mano with Trent McDuffie, Kansas City's nickel cornerback. He made first team all pro this year, so that's a top shelf one on one. They'll throw it in the near side. Tyreek Hill hit right in the stomach, fumbles the ball, picked up by Kansas City. Probably this is the best team I've ever been on from the top to the bottom. Baltimore's wide receiver supporting cast. Jackson threw one of his TDs to wide receiver Nelson Aguilar last week. OBJ was quiet. He's always a threat. Rashad Bateman hauled in 39 yards. We got to finish, you know. Still playoffs. We're not in the dance yet, but... I'm looking forward to next week, to be honest with you. Chiefs counter with Legereus Sneed, who will also stick flowers. People doubt us on coming in here about the fans, about how cold it is, which don't matter at all. We came out here to play ball. He tracks WR1s with the best. Stephon Diggs in the divisional game, eight targets, only 21 yards, only three catches. I thought our defense was just as good as it could be. Second and 10 almost picked off. That was McDuffie who jumped in front of Diggs, who's been held to only three catches. After Flowers, Jackson usually turns to his tight ends. Isaiah Likely scored last week. Jackson, end zone, Likely for the touchdown. And there's a chance tight end Mark Andrews returns from injury. That would be huge if he did. Six touchdowns in his 10 games. Can't hurt to have an elite pass catcher added to the mix, right? Things it far side complete. Andrews has it across midfield. Down the far sideline. All the way to the line, 40-yard line. Chiefs pass defense was tough on tight ends. Held them to an 87.5 rate this season. Seventh lowest. Defense started off a little slow and then they picked it up. I'm so proud of them and the job that they did. Spags had a great game plan. The pass rush sitch. Lamar was sacked three times by the Texans. It's second down and 19, and down goes Jackson again. Two of them right before the half, so not super damaging. Jackson didn't fumble, hasn't lost a fumble in a long time. Ball security not an issue for him this year. Kansas City's pass rush with the second most sacks for the season. Didn't have one last week, though, and only hit Allen twice. Hey, can he get home? Yes. Too? Yes. They can't go. They can't. They're supposed to be so good. They can't. Chiefs Chris Jones, George Karloftis, Charles Omenahue, Mike Dana, between six and a half and ten and a half sacks each for them this season. Kansas City got away with a win without much pressure while giving up more points than normal on defense because their offense erupted for 27 points. KC may have had its issues in 20. 23, but when they put up 25 plus points, 8 0, including the playoffs. Tutties. That's what we're getting all day. Tutties. Touchdown is the mentality. Tutties. All day. Putting up 25 on Baltimore is going to be a challenge. Ravens faced the number one QB in passing yards per game for the year last week. Baltimore held CJ Stroud, who came in hot to 175 yards, no touchdowns, just 5.2 yards per attempt, a low 70s rate. You know, all these purple jerseys and the, the physicalness in which they arrive. I mean, they are pounding on him, and you got Hutchinson just doing everything he can to squeak out any kind of yardage. Their divisional round showing, akin to how they played quarterbacks all year, they were either the top secondary this season or co-champs at the very least. Off the deflection, the Ravens have the pick. Brandon Stevens in the right spot, and he's running with it. Chiefs offense trying to dent the number one defense and points per game allowed for the season, held Houston to 10. They didn't give up a single TD. Five straight, no team has scored 20 points on Baltimore. Tunga by Loa. High throw. Intercepted by Geno Stone. Ravens secondary will primarily be focused on two KC pass catchers. Travis Kelsey, of course, Hello! has two good playoff games under his belt now. Two touchdowns versus the Bills, 75 yards, and one heart for the love of his life. A lot hairier than you would have thought, right? Travis Kelsey scores that touchdown. They show Jason Kelsey with his shirt off up in the suite chugging a beer. They start with us. Let's set the tone for the first place.
Baltimore's linebackers, Roquan Smith, Patrick Queen, safeties Kyle Hamilton, Geno Stones, second toughest in the league on tight ends, holding them to a low 80s rating. Fires incomplete. That ball came bursting out as soon as it arrived in his hands because the Ravens just blew him up. Kansas City's wide receivers don't have it any easier either. Ravens faced Nico Collins, a 1,300-yard receiver, held him in check to 68 yards. Stroud. Tried to fit it in to Nico Collins, broken up by Marcus Williams. Baltimore's cornerbacks, Arthur Mollett, Brandon Stevens, Ronald Darby, Marlon Humphrey, who didn't play last week, a nightmare for wideouts this year. Baltimore held wide receivers to the third lowest rate for the season. Here's a ball tipped and nearly picked. Rice, he went for 47 yards last week. He had a great rookie year. Mahomes gets twisted around and escapes. Completes it for the first down. And it's Rice. MBS also hauled in a big catch versus the Bills, 62 yards. Mahomes going with a long ball. What a catch! MBS. Mahomes would take similar protection. The Bills didn't make it home to see him once, and they only hit him twice. Here they come on second and eight. He's able to get ahead of them and go down the field and connect. Buffalo's pass rush was fourth in sacks for 2023, too. The Ravens' pass rush he faces didn't sack Stroud once, but their front factored into that game. They pressured him a whopping 54% of the time. That's a fat number. Here's pressure by Mollett. Stroud on third down has to throw it away. They were the bad kings in 2023. Three guys with nine plus sacks, Kyle Van Noy, Jadavian Clowney, defensive tackle Justin Matubike. Tonga Bailoa, pump fake, and he is sacked by Matubike. Ravens run defense, not a strength in the regular season, held Devin Singletary, a dude hitting at 4.5 plus over his last five to six games, to 2.2 a run, just 22 yards. Round game has been non-existent. Roquan Smith got through to make that stop and a loss of three. Now they take on Isaiah Pacheco, who went to work on Buffalo's defense. 97 yards, 6.5 a run, a touchdown. Pacheco is a beast, um, runs so hard. Looks like he's trying to run through a brick wall every handoff. Here's Pacheco into the secondary and running down the sideline. Mahomes' legs can't be ignored. He was the king of the scramble first down this season. Mahomes, a couple of times he's able to fake as if he's going to give it up to Bell and he keeps going. Kicking games, Chiefs, Harrison Butker, two for two last week, six for six in the playoffs. Butker nails a tough one into the win of 47 yards to tie the game. Justin Tucker, also two for two last week. He hit from 53 yards. 53 yards on a windy day. He's so good. Chiefs, seven and two as the road team. Ravens, seven and two at home with Lamar at the helm. We're excited for the opportunity, but we're, we're edgy and we're mad. You know, we got a lot to prove. Chance it could rain, temp in the mid-40s. Baltimore and Kansas City have faced only once in the playoffs. Remember this one? 2010, Baltimore, 30-7 win. Joe Flacco, Terrell Suggs, Ray Lewis, good times. Where would you rather be than right here, right now, right? Huh? Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Right here. Energy, energy. Your turn. Document any other matchups you think are vital, along with your predictions in the comments section. Does the panel attend believe it's Lamar's time or more of the same for Mahomes? Let's see it.